Well, g'day folks, here we are, Wednesday, and we're out for lunch. Shun just found a nice little cafe overlooking some rice fields. Um, but today we're going to talk about the LBGTQ uh, rights here in Thailand uh, as our main topic because it's a topic of the news today. Howdy, Krab. He's okay for the camera, no problem? Okay, yeah, good, good. Just a nice little rice field, just about ready to cut, looks like it. But just, they just look really quaint in the photos. And she's now checking it all out, I gather. We just want it somewhere simple, easy, and yeah, okay, we sit down here. Well, this is, this is living, nice and relaxing. Nice blue skies, green fields. You really can't go past some of the, uh, the nature of Thailand. But uh, again, uh, here we are here in Thailand. Uh, looking at uh, what's topical and uh, what's going on and we're going to order some food and uh, as we said the 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 new elected government uh, is now pushing an agenda oh there's a lot of agendas i think 45 items on their card um, and they've got bipartisan support pretty much across the board uh, apart from of course one sector who thinks that they shouldn't be doing all this until they actually achieve government um, but let's not go into the politic political side of things but yeah they've uh, come out with some uh, great ideas and uh, they're one of the ideas that they're coming up with is to really push through the uh, LBGTQ rights uh, which we've been waiting for so long for anyway uh, uh, we'll do our ordering thing, uh, eat some food, and we'll talk about it. So stick around. So where are we today? We're at a little place called uh, Jaloon Cafe. It's about two streets away from our house. Uh, we were going to go somewhere else again, but you know, the trouble is, you know, Wednesday seems to be also a day that other businesses decide that they're going to have the day off because it's the middle of the week, um, which gets to be a bit of a problem. Uh, and of course, you got us all dressed up, <laughs> dolled up to the nines, hair all done, makeup all done, and place was closed on Wednesday so she picked this one as the second one kind of because they had pretty pictures of all the greenery and everything else and I'm quite sure that uh, you'll have to admit that it looks quite good um, <clears throat> I always loved the green the green always looks so invigorating and uh, oh, and there she's going along the board walk to the to the swing <laughs> oh hey you get there darling oh okay over here where are you going hey um, but yes uh, uh, so here we are, just uh, out there, we've ordered lunch, something simple, uh, nothing really too fancy again, but, uh, oi, went to another place a couple of years ago, um, which was a very similar setup with the swing <laughs> and the little, what do you call it, the gazebo out in the middle of the field. Yes, darling, what? You want me to push you? Are you scared? <laughs> it's just, you know, considering the fact that this is, you know, what we call um, suburbia here in Thailand, um, it is quite lush and green. You, know, you, just, you just really have difficulty trying to get over the greenness of the, the rice fields around the outskirts of Bangkok. Um, but yeah, gives you a bit of an idea. But anyway, I don't want to sort of bore you with all the, uh, the, the pagan shit, so uh, I'll, I'll cut it there. Can <laughs> take some video of her. Eat here? Yeah. Why? Good idea. Good idea. Very small. So give them a few minutes to make the food anyway, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is, I think we're looking south. Our house is just across here, this way, only about two streets away. Or uh, maybe slow, a kilometre away. Uh, <laughs> Thailand is just a mishmash of farms and industrial sites. And, and <laughs> like uh, these are the, if you look over here, the um, typical Thai style living here, the one room apartments. How much do you pay for those apartments? Maybe 2,000, 3,000 baht a month? Mm, maybe not yeah. 3,000, but somewhere, somewhere. Uh, not too expensive, yeah. just from, uh, not a uh, limit, just 2,000 or 2,005, but hmm. 2,005, but high so now, <laughs> in the yeah. Yeah. Batom, if when you pay in the Bangkok, you cannot <laughs> for good room 2,005, oh, yeah. you just pay 5,000, 10,000, yeah, yeah, yeah. 12,000, up, 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 up for Nong Kham price. 8,000 but good, 5,000 good. When you move uh, to Kumbit, yeah. 
you cannot pay price this way. You pay twenty thousand up, ten thousand up. I've yeah, seen some know. condos in 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 in, in uh, Bangkok. They're like maybe seven thousand, six thousand baht. Uh huh, six thousand. But yeah. just location, not uh, yeah, not not, uh, not, not, good, not, yeah. not not beauty yeah. and small room. Yeah. And these there. rooms here are only really a room with a bathroom. Uh, they're about thirty square meters. You you just pay for uh, electric apartment and, and electric yeah. for zone yeah. zone four room Sukhum with you pay a lot. Zone step zone bank uh zone uh mm -hmm. bank care pray down non care pray down no yeah. yeah. <laughs> da yeah is down 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 no 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 is <laughs> same price same oh, okay. price one thousand five two thousand is okay, okay. too. Hmm. So if you were a single guy and wanted to sort of, you know, commute to the Bangkok, you know, for your partying and come and live out here, uh, you can you can live in Thailand for a very, very little amount of money but if I, you want I, to eat Thai food and live in these but apartments. I think hmm? peop, uh, people like to stay in Bangkok, just pay a lot, hmm. but some Falang want to move Thailand. I I have to, uh, I think Falang just move near... Uh, Near near Bangkok, mm. uh, not pay a lot, and location more location good. Right, not, right. Yeah, not yeah. traffic mm. jam, but some some people like for or uh, for for everything for Alena uh, for I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> some people some people like so uh, convenience. For being in the city, it's just yeah, everything, for, for everything, everything for easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah everything is just easy. You have easy yeah, access to taxi, easy access to uh, public transport, easy yeah, access yeah, to yeah. food. Uh, here we have to uh, again. I just can't walk out the door here and go and get a burger. I've got to drive two kilometres. You know, if I want to get uh, KFC, I've got to drive two kilometres the other direction. If I want to get so Seven Eleven, is two kilometres. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's, everything's now, two two kilometres everywhere. Now we <laughs> move in the Nakhavatop, I think. Mm. Okay, not not traffic too yeah. much, and have mini location mm. for relax for yeah, yeah. one day for good day. Mm -hmm. You think good? Good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the way it is. It's uh, you know, out here we get to enjoy the suburban lifestyle yeah. without the traffic. What? Video me oh, I, I let the video. The, my phone's open on on the desk, darling, so I cannot. What? What? You want to push me off? Okay, we're in a fight now. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, so it's it's just one of those two things. Uh, yeah, it, we are close to the city, but. Honey, come here. What? What you say to me before? You want to fight? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm reflecting. Calm, calm. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, um, I've, I've lost my train of thought again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and we got a complimentary uh, coconut milk. Uh, drink from courtesy of the management here probably because we're videoing <laughs> you get these things all the time which is pretty good it comes with the coffees good 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 coffee straw and juice good good okay cup and cup okay so a lot and latte yen so here I have the little bit of the article from um, the, I think it was the uh, Bangkok Post today. Um, LBT, LBT, tongue tied. <laughs> LGBTQ. I'm still, I'm still not used to the Q, but it actually stands for um, questioning as opposed to queer. But uh, we won't go into the, the semantics of the, the words. But it does say here, the equal, the equal marriage bill is among the 45 propo proposals uh, integrated into the Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU, uh, recently signed by the eight coalition parties, uh, the government, uh, the disagreement, uh, I should put my glasses on so I can read it properly, this agreement commits the MFP par government, uh, which is yet to be formed, to prioritise the passage of these bills through Parliament. By pledging to push for an equal marriage law, MFP aims to ensure that same-sex couples uh, have the legal recognition and rights enjoyed by heterosexual couples, such as legislation. Such legislation would represent a significant milestone in advancing LGBTQ rights in Thailand, um, fostering an environment of inclusivity and acceptance for all citizens. 
Um, so it's a very positive statement. Of course, these are all done by the, the, the PR spin doctors. Um, I'm pretty sure that the, they don't come up with these words themselves, but we have been waiting for, how long now? What, 10 years been waiting for the law to change for LBTT, for the marriage? Mm. Maybe 10? I'm not sure. Because yeah, we were talking about it before I moved here. They, they, were, they talk about then yeah. that they were going to um, uh, change the law so we could get married. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're 10 years later, it's still not happened. Ah! So what do you think about the LBTQ? Do you think the MFP is going to be good and bring the new law in for marriage? Yes, not law. Law new. Yeah, what orange shirt. Orange him, him go, everything okay now and maybe him... Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe take one, two years, I don't know, I don't I'm know how long. I'm not, not, sure. not, not, not what to, when he can when he make can, yeah. what? Uh, legislation. Legislation, yeah. boop, and boom, okay yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So maybe mm. six months or five months, him everything lead, lead, lead. Mm, and yeah, and take a little bit of time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It will be a refreshing change to the legal status here in Thailand, but um, if you know the area or know Thailand, yeah, Thailand has come across in the world stage as being very pro-LBGTQ anyway in most circles. And I think in the seven years I've been living here, I've only ever once encountered one Thai person who wanted to save me uh, from my choices. Uh, which is refreshing to think the Thais actually care that much about a Farang that they don't know, but want me to avoid a transgender. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> but we're not going to go into the rights and wrongs of that. Um, but honestly, it's just one of those things. You know, we look around the world. Uh, one of the reasons why Shandy didn't move to Australia with me um, is, the, the, is the negative stance in that sort of arena in Australia. It's very similar to the negativity we get in, in America, um, but in Australia I think it's a bit more violent uh, in certain areas you know, that we might frequent. Um, I've had, I've had uh, one friend that uh, uh, has been beaten up three times in uh, Newtown over the last you know, 15, 20 years, uh, just walking down the street, minding her own business, um, and she's reasonably attractive when she's all made up, made up and everything else. Um, so, you know, she quite honestly passed as a female, but no, I'm not going to go to the extent of trying to describe that. Uh, but here in Thailand, as you can see, the, uh, the Thai lady boys here, they, they are a, an exceptional uh, difference in society uh, makeup. Uh, and of course, the, the general Buddhism in it we have in, experienced here in this country uh, has everybody minding their own business and not upsetting other people. You, know, you have your right to, to be, your right to do things. Uh, unfortunately, the LBTT area, or the, especially to do with transgender, which is our, my specific focus, um, is the fact that you know, they, they get limited in what they're allowed to do. Uh, one of the reasons that the limitations exist is the fact that well, we have this thing here called conscription um, in Thailand and it's a, a ballot system where you go into a big room and you pull a card, if you get a red card then you're in the army, if you pull a black card then you're, you're stop free uh, or unless you have breasts. Uh, so one of the things we have here in Thailand is uh, young men, you know, 18, 19 years old, fearing conscription, um, will go and take hormones. Uh, to get breasts and then put makeup on and pretend to be girls for you know about two years. Once they get over the, the conscription model, um, then then <laughs> it all comes off again. They re lead regular lives. Um, but uh, there are the other sort of side of the transgender who are generally sort of you know those um, souls who, for want of a better word, um, was born in the wrong body. Um, and now I could go into a whole dissertation on that one, and I may do that a bit later on in this video, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, you know, we do see a predominance uh, in those circles of you know, very pretty, uh, you know, transgender uh, ties here, and uh, it's, uh, you don't see them being uh, really harassed or beat up or uh, they get to participate in everything except for the fact that their vocational limits are you know, less than either a male or female. One of the reasons is the fact that you know, the breast thing in the army is the fact that the army considers them to be uh, insane. I think in a banya on, uh, in a bar or whatever. Um, 
and that's the army's attitude. So because you are not of sound mental quality, you can't be in the army. Yet I see the mental quality of the army already with you know, people getting um, semi-automatics and going to shopping centres. Well, they weren't LBGTQ. They were regular guys and they've lost a few marbles as well. So I don't think that's really a, a fitting statement or a comparison, if you know what I mean. But we have some very serious or very conservative views up in the upper echelon here in for Thai society. They think it's a bit weird and so does about 5% of the American population as well. Um, we're not asking for their opinion um, exactly how it affects you that I date a transgender woman is I, I just can't see any 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 comparative there I, I can't see any line in the sand where it is even your right to make a comment about my relationship um, just wake up you know not woke wake wake up you know like wake up and smell the roses you're in the wrong planet right now because that sort of secularism is part of the reasons why we have a collapsing economy where the upper echelon is decided to put people into boxes and then have those boxes of people fight other boxes of people really rather than fight the people who make these stupid rules <laughs> and what's all it's all it's going to take getting together right a unified movement for everybody who is a human being to take on the one percent and that would be the end of it um, but yeah look we can wait for those anyway that's just my thoughts on the whole idea um, but yes, yeah, so let's hopefully, you know, what, are we, what am I going to gain out of it? Well, we can legally get married, that's the first thing. I would then have legal representation here in Thailand as a foreigner married to a Thai. Um, I would have also legal uh, representation in the immigration laws. I'd have to investigate whether that's an advantage to me. I'd also be allowed to be sort of put on the mortgage, for instance, and actually be part of part of the mortgage rather than all in her name all these sort of things here then become open to us um, if they actually get that law passed um, so we are keeping our fingers crossed because I want to make an honest woman out of her there you go uh, and I know she wants a white wedding or pink wedding or I don't know what what color do you have I don't know it's just all this stuff I don't know anyway we'll wait for lunch and we'll close this off now that's one staple of the Thai diet that is quite often overlooked. Kalpat Mu. It is just, it has everything. It's just a very balanced meal for start and even lunchtime. Probably not for dinner so much, but late breakfast, lunch, don't go past it. If you've got something to eat and fill your stomach, that's what you need. Um, we're still waiting for the other two. Where's the other two? Oh, taking a long time. What's this one, darling? Mu. Mu kop kua kua. Mu krob. Kua. Kua. Glue. Yeah. It's yeah, it's pork. It's fried pork, deep fried pork, but it's very spicy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. spicy. Very, very, yeah, very spicy. Yeah, at the moment with my stomach the way it is, I can't eat spicy. <clears throat> Still trying to settle down. Still don't really know what the problem is. It could be an ulcer or something like that, but yeah, it's one of those things I've had on and off stomach issues for the last four weeks. It's just one of those things. It's just well, four weeks, five. Anyway, don't want it. Just my health. Uh, I'm on a sort of a very low, uh, low junk food diet. In fact, I did a 24-hour fast yesterday. It made me feel a lot better. Uh, I just got to clean out the junk, you know. Maybe I needed one of those sort of cleansing diets for a couple of weeks or something like that. I have to look that up as well. Just to clear out the system. I think it's the alcohol. But, you know, I haven't been drinking much these days. But yeah, we went to a party last Saturday night. Don't know whose party that was. Um, but yeah, there was alcohol involvement, of course. <laughs> Two days later, I'm still suffering. But anyway, uh, that's life here in Thailand. And that's your third one you order. That's been just, just fried rice. No, no, just rice with... Not fried rice. Just moo. Krapao. Krapao. Krapao kao mu yang. Krapao kao mu yang. Yep. I've not heard that one before. <laughs> very good, very that's good, fried. very good. Yeah, no, you can check. It's okay, I have enough here. It's okay. <laughs> Well, that lot came to 395 baht. Again, uh, not too bad for a, a lunch brunch. Um, again, uh, Wednesdays. Is it a big day or a bit little day or whatever? It's just the fact that what do you feel like eating? And that's all I felt like eating today, and I'm quite full again. Got to go and do our shopping. But of course, it comes to that uh, closing out time. So don't forget, we do have our Patreon and we do have our membership. Don't forget, we don't run ads on this channel now on the new videos. 
look, I'm not going to go back and turn them off for 700 odd videos in the in the back catalogue. But yeah, for going forward, we're we're trying this to see how it goes. I think um, there's a bit of positive feedback so far uh, about not running ads on our videos um, <clears throat> because there seems to be some contention contentious issue about the ads, and I hate ads myself. So yeah, like yeah, there's a there's a super chat thing or a super uh, like thing down the bottom. There's a buy me a coffee link down in the description there's a paypal link down in the description there's the patreon if you want to subscribe there's the membership if you want to subscribe it's all welcome um but yeah it's up to you uh, whatever you guys think is a fair thing you know once a month buy me a coffee and i'll keep doing this shit but anyway uh we're going to get out of here now and go and do our shopping so um she's still playing facebook you ready to go now darling you sure <laughs> Right. We couldn't eat it all, so we've got a we've got a sum to take home later. Thank you very much. Okay, so oh yeah, we're just going to show the scan. Hold on. So, uh, in closing, so uh, we, we go up here. In closing, uh, what's your thoughts on the whole LBDTQ issue? Um, are you looking forward to having that uh, uh, welcomed here in Thailand and sort of uh, come up with the rest of the main players in the world? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> Or you're going to be one of those sticklers in the mud about the old school thinking the fact that it's uh, sorry X and X X Y chromosomes. Oh my God! Um, obviously, people just don't read enough science magazines. Anyway, I got to show the bill <laughs> and get out of here. We'll catch you later, guys. I, I want you to